on this maybe final edition of the 2018-2019 HDT Morning Announcements, FFLAC, GOTCHA, and the BGCA. The NEWS starts NOW. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ah, uh, the final announcements of our high school career. Shall we make it a memorable one, Nolan? I'll end you. Okay. Well, no time for dillying, no time for dallying. It's time for the final lunch to be reported by the class of 2019. I'm honored to announce, <clears throat> in lines one and two, we're gonna have chicken smackers with Asian or so sauce. Line three, shrimp. Line four, tacos or fajitas and Big Daddy pizza. And line five, for the final time, is closed. And a happy birthday goes out to Low Ice, KJ Made, Doze, Sarai I, Joe Rez, Balte A Ray, and I Rice, Diana Lopez. And now, after butchering names that I don't know how to pronounce, to sports with my man, my best friend forever, according to Who's Who, and fellow senior farewell farewell-er, Nick Kinder. Thanks, Nolan. Yesterday, both Nayeli Alanis and Alicia Ramey competed in the track regional. Nayeli Alanis finished fifth in the 100-meter hurdles and seventh in the 300-meter hurdles. On the other hand, Alicia Ramey finished sixth in the high jump. Congratulations to both girls on an excellent season. The boys varsity golf team was able to defeat Northwestern yesterday by a score of 187 to 216. Sasha Perch led the dogs, posting a 39. Following was Drew Grossman with a 46, Camden Caesar and Nolan Varner with 51s, Reese Mitchell with 56, Ramsey Mitchell with 57, and Sam Wilson with 58. The Frankfurt varsity softball team season came to an end on Tuesday evening in the second round of sectionals as they fell to Tri West by a score of 1 to 11. The dogs struggled to get the bats going. Morgan Dean and Katie Roberts each had only one hit for the dogs. Avery Drew took the loss for the dogs, pitching three and one-third innings, allowing three runs on five hits and striking out two. Followed by Michaela Harper's performance, pitching three and two-thirds innings, allowing eight runs on six hits and striking out one. The team finished the season with a record of 16 and 10. Yesterday, the girls' tennis season officially came to a close as Emily Michael lost her hard-fought match during the individual portion of sectionals held at Avon High School. The team finished 17-6 overall and were co-champions of the Sagamore Conference. There will be a girls golf call-out meeting today after school in the auxiliary gym. This call-out is for any girl that is interested in playing golf in the fall. And finally, a good luck goes out to the varsity baseball team as they prepare to compete in their sectional tonight at 5 o'clock. That's it for sports. Back on over to you, Nolan. Thanks, Nick. Your name's gonna go down in history as like one of the top 100 best sports reporters in HDTV history. Anyways, the Frankfurt Future Leaders Advisory Council, or FFLAC, applications are due to student services tomorrow. Don't, tur don't turn them in late or else, since you know they'd probably just wanna accept it, so it'd be kinda worthless if you did turn it in late. All girls interested in a hands-on career or just something or looking for something to do over the summer, do I have the club for you? Gotcha! Is a girls only week-long camp where you can experience working on cars, constructing things from wood, learning about home electrical wiring, and welding metal. The camp is June 24th to 28th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with lunch provided. I mean, who doesn't want, love free lunch? Online registration is available now. Just check out one of the flyers posted around the school for more information. If you have any questions, be on the information provided by me and or the flyers. See Mr. Blunt, Mr. Munier, or Mr. Smith. I'm sure they'd be able to help you out more since they do run the club after all. Last, Last call for any artwork left in Mr. Clark's room, especially you artsy seniors since, you know, this is pretty much your last day, to pick up any artwork by the end of the school year or be prepared to just, you know, never see it again. If you don't, then don't come crying to me when you see it being turned to ash while a bunch of your underlings dance around it while belting out the chorus to Baby by Justin Bieber. The Boys and Girls Club is offering what I can only assume to be a new teen center called simply The Club. It's open for all 6th to 12th graders to come after hours and hang out. 
It will be open from 6 to 9 on different evenings throughout the week. If present, you'll have access to the gym, recreational equipment, TVs, charging stations, and best of all, Wi-Fi. Also, you'll have opportunities for potential field trips, including, but not limited to, athletic events and college tours. Other services provided include movie nights, arts and crafts, dances, and tutoring. There's going to be a kickoff for the club at 1100 West Green Street, which is the Boys and Girls Club, on June 21st from 6 to 9 p.m. Head on over there if you're interested, and for more information, call the teen program director at 765-242-7437. Well, folks, that wraps it up here for the senior edition of HDTV Announcements. I'm Nolan Varner. And I'm... M hey, hold up. You guys forgot. What? Summer school. Oh. Now to a video from Mrs. Long on summer school. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'd like to quickly talk about summer school this year. This year's summer school will begin on Wednesday, May 29th from 8 a.m., until noon and it will go until Tuesday, June 18th. Summer school is especially important this year if you have credits to recover or if you've already started a class on Apex. Our corporation is considering moving away from the Apex company, which would mean that any progress you've made in an Apex course so far could be wiped out if we go to a new company next year. Therefore, if you have started an Apex course, I would consider coming to summer school starting on Wednesday of next week and finishing that up. Remember, it's from 8 a.m. until noon. Transportation is provided. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the main office or in student services. Thanks, good luck on your finals. Okay, so what are you doing here? Hey, on this last senior day, I wanted to uh, announce awards. Mo was unable to attend the CTE ceremonies. So uh, first off, I'd like to congratulate Mo Perry Woo! on the CTE Radio and TV <sighs> Student of the Year. Why, thank you. Hold your applause. Also, since Nolan carries his award around in his pocket, Nolan was the HDTV Award winner of the year, and we'd like to congratulate Nolan Varner on being an outstanding student in HDTV. Now, to Dallas, our department award winner. This is Dallas's award, and he's very happy to accept the Use the Best Award. Congratulations, Dallas. Here hey, you are our other seniors. Come on in. Let's, let's, we got Dallas in here. Let's get Nick in here. Dallas, move Let's over. get Richard in here. There we go. Not that far. <laughs> I, mean, I know Dallas has a final closing. Dallas, what do you yeah. have to say? Everyone getting a little more. I can do oh. this all day. That's all you got to say? That's it. You don't okay. Have to say goodbye? Good, goodbye, everybody. Thank you for a wonderful, wonderful two years at HDTV. I'd like to thank Mr. Kniff. I'd like to there thank Mrs. Smith. I'd like to thank especially Mr. Salini. And I'd, like, and I'd like to thank my mom and everybody else that was by my side. <laughs> you just, well, Richard, which, Richard, Richard. Oh, yeah. This has been a very interesting year. Uh, let's say thanks to Lee for putting up with me throughout this uh, year. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a great four years. Uh, hopefully I'll have better and more things coming up. And yeah, Nick, you got anything fancy to say? Anything heart-wrenching and soppy? No comment. No comment, no comment from Nick. Okay, well then, as I was saying, I'm Mo Perry, and I'm apparently good at doing my job. And I'm <clears throat> the best. And I'm the best. Well, I also have more stuff to say. It's just that uh, Nick kind of had to abandon his post on the prom. That's right. It's still too late. We got this. So, um, the bell just rang too. Well, the bell rang. This is a fun time. Uh, he paused it. Just hit, just hit, hit help on the keyboard. Hit up on the key. No, no, so, no. Right, right on the keyboard. Right. Up. Frozen. Seriously? Hang on a second. Hang on. I am not going to leave this room without being able to read that little speech I put at the end. I swear. Nick, get that restarted. Fade the black. No, please, please. No. We're not fading. We got this. I put too much time into. Uh.